what is it about criminals that fascinates the American public? You know, I, I, you know, this has been going back since the beginning of movies, mob movies, They're, you know, uh, just like Westerns. You know, mob movies are kind of like even the modern day Westerns. People are fascinated with this life, which is a horrible life, Bill. You know, I grew up around this in Bensonhurst in the 60s and 70s. These are bad people that do bad things, not just to each other. Let's not, you know, people mistaken that, oh, they just hurt each other. No, they don't. They hurt a lot of innocent people. But yet, for whatever reason, we continue to like them, dress like them. There's a lot of wannabes, the cigars, conventions, nonsense. I, I can't put my finger on it. I used to watch uh, ID Discovery. I did a couple of shows for them uh, about murders. And then it just got too much for me. And it was like, if I want to see murders and hor horrific things, I'll just put on the news. That's all you need. I don't need to watch that for recreation. So I, I don't quite know. Okay. So I watch you on Blue Bloods as the detective the good guy who wants to protect people. And then I contrast you to Bobby Bacala. Am I saying that correctly? Yes. yes in perfect. The Sopranos. And in The Sopranos, you're not a hardcore bad guy. You got the no. trains going on. Chase is smart enough to humanize everybody in that cast. And that's part of your book that you and Imperioli give you the inside stuff on how all the scenes went down. But Chase, the creator, um, smart enough to humanize you and the other bad guys. Coppola did it in The Godfather. I mean, you don't get more evil than Michael Corleone. He's just a quintessential evil SOB. Yet, in the beginning, he was a good guy. So I think it's this dichotomy between good and evil. But getting back to you, you, I'm sure, get still more reaction to Sopranos than Blue Bloods, and Blue Bloods a big hit. Yeah, 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 but it's kind of evened out quite a bit. I mean, Blue Bloods is a terrific show, and people love it. They love the family dinner. They love the prayer. They love that they don't kowtow to what's going on in the world now, you know, they don't. And people find it refreshing. We're in our 12th season, and I think it's great. And I'll tell you what, personally, I'd much rather have cops and retired cops come up to me and say, hey, I like what you're doing, as opposed to some white, fat, wise guy downtown, you know, <laughs> saying, oh, yeah, man, I, I used hey, to can, kill guys. Can I buy you a steak? Can I buy you a beer? <laughs> <laughs> That's not well, how you do it. A guy, yeah. a guy stopped me in the street. You know, I, you know, I love the show. Uh, last night, the, uh, uh, the, you know, why I went, you know, that's not the way you whack people. I went, okay, I got to get going. <laughs> you know, 